Good morning, this is Kim Bellissimo. Welcome to Pajamas and Pancakes. And today we are going to own our balls. Here are balls that um, I work with my clients. I sell these balls. What do you want? What do you want? This is action. This is intention. This is, I want this, I'm going for it. This is just movement. And this is what I don't want. When you don't want something, you put it in a ball, you squeeze it, you drop it. And so we are using our balls. And as soon as I got my balls out today, I don't know if you can see this, but um, Dexter, my dog, he got a hold of my ball and chewed my ball. So <laughs> I owned my balls for literally about five minutes and then my ball got chewed. So today we are, what do you want? What do you don't want? Own your balls. Women have ovaries, those are our creative balls and we wanna own them to create. Men have their balls on the external. And what does that mean though for both of us? It means, what do I want? The male side in us is, this is what I want and I'm gonna go for it, taking action. We are going to take action today. We are going to make a drink and elixir, maca which is amazing. It is a natural kind of energy boost. You can tell I got energy today. I'm coming out of my slump and um, we're moving into that full moon. And so we're gonna make this amazing chocolate, uh, maca powder and cinnamon. And then we are going to make two elixirs, which is um, a watermelon kind of smoothie for my son. And then we're making paleo pancakes. So we've got three things going on this morning. And so what do you want? What don't you want? So when we want something, what do I want? My intention is to have an amazing day. And we just hand it over. We throw it up and you catch the ball. And if something shows up that you don't want, you get it out of the body, release it and drop it, let it go. So here we've got our balls. I'm just gonna put my balls right here where my ovaries are so I can, um, you know, <laughs> we're gonna actually do some drop squats today. We're gonna get the energy in our body. We feel good after yesterday, maybe if you fasted. So um, here we go. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see what we're doing and um, all right, so we have dark chocolate. This chocolate, it does not have sugar. It has stevia in it. Love this chocolate. I eat a bar a day, sometimes two bars a day. And we're going to heat it up and we're gonna add some coconut, uh, unsweetened coconut milk to that. And we are just gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna put everything in the blender I love how thick this coconut milk is. It's so rich in the unsweetened kind. It doesn't have, you know, any sugar and it just tastes amazing. So we're gonna let this melt. Now, maca powder is, um, is amazing because I don't know how many of you drink um, coffee but you know, coffee tends to blow out our adrenals, or if you do try it, coffee with some coconut oil or just coconut milk, something, some, something with fat or butter. So we're gonna add the maca powder. This is a natural kind of ingredient and you know, it helps our adrenals. It gives us support, you know, it gives us a lift. And this is cinnamon we're gonna add, and I'm gonna blend this drink. And we're gonna add one or two tablespoons of syrup. And um, then we're going to add vanilla extract. So here is the, um, the glass cup. We have a cinnamon stick. I love these cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Cinnamon is very good for losing weight. It's very good for metabolism. A lot of these natural herbs that uh, we use actually heal the body. So if we can naturally heal our bodies, 
with using whole foods, with using herbs. That's the way to do it. So um, while, let's turn this down. We don't want this really to boil. This chocolate is melting and we're gonna add this then to, if you can see, we're gonna add this, it looks great. Um, this chocolate, I've only been able to find it at Whole Foods. You may, um, you know, be able to find it somewhere else. So it's Lily's, Lily's chocolate. It has no sugar in it, it's dark chocolate, but my kids like it too. It isn't so, a lot of people say, I don't like dark chocolate, there's no taste to it. I agree. I agree, but this chocolate, it's different. So there we go, this is melted. And see, look how nice that is. We're gonna turn that off. And um, I think what we'll do in the Nutribullet first, while that's cooling off just a little bit, is we are making a smoothie, um, since my son likes smoothies. In this smoothie, we've got watermelon. He loves watermelon. We have a half a cup of ice and we have some wild blueberries. If you can find the wild frozen blueberries, they're excellent. Um, try them, they're much different than um, just the fresh blueberries and oil. So we gotta keep lubed up. Um, oil is amazing if um, you're having a hard time dropping, eliminating. Um, and you've got to do that. We're, we're moving right into the moon. If you're not eliminating, you got to find a way to eliminate. And I've got all kinds of great remedies. It is probably, it's so important, much more important than what you put in your mouth is what you get out. Now I know somebody said, can you not talk about that around food? But that's health. So we're going to own it. We're going to own our body. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this um, drink. And then we are going to, um, uh, that's it. So that's it for the protein. Now, you know what I'm going to add actually to this a little, we have fat. I was thinking I was going to put coconut. And um, my son likes it really liquidy. Now um, I have this lid for him. So that's what I like about these um, Nutribull Nutribullets. There you go. Finished. Finito. I'm going to put that aside for him. Um, I have the chili from last night. The chili. Um, there's only a little bit left and I made a lot. All that food that I made yesterday, gone. And um, isn't this great? You know, my, my pans are soaking because my son cooked two meals yesterday he was home I don't, I'm not sure what it was I mean it looked really creative he just was creating but um, he cooked full-on meals big mess but you know what hey I love that he's cooking and creating so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, this is a maca drink maca powder if you haven't heard of it it is great for your adrenals it gives you a lift it gives, it's kind of the same thing as caffeine, but it doesn't hit the blood system in the same way. And this drink, you know, is really for me. I don't know if my son will have some of this, um, but it's dark chocolate. And um, I have coconut milk in here, unsweetened coconut milk. And I love having elixirs in the morning. Um, I hope you try that turmeric that golden milk that i made yesterday so good so good and um what else we're going to add to this is we had cinnamon and i have cinnamon sticks we're going to put a banana in here and um and that's it you know i forgot to put the date in that last one and that but that's fine okay so feel it so you know when you're cooking you know a lot of people cook by recipe and the amount I kind of cook by feel so you want to feel what your food feels like you know we want to have that 
um, masculine. We want to have that feminine rolling in, in, in us. And now that we're, the moon is coming, that's more getting in touch with how do things feel? What does it feel like? And, okay. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. Mm, so rich. So this, this is my drink. <laughs> my son is not good in this drink. Mm, so good. So that is delicious. Really good. And I just have a few cinnamon sticks, you know, to kind of stir it. I like these cinnamon sticks. Mmm. It's kind of like a little wand or wand setting space here. I, I, I'm flipping kind of mm, my food around. Oh, you've got to try that. A natural uplift. So good. Now um, we're going to, you know, we're going to just, we're going to uh, jog in place for a moment. We're going to do a few squats. We're going to own our balls, own our lady balls. And I haven't been working out since I've been on this program. So, you know, I've got my ballet bar here. We can do some stretches. You know, whatever little bit you can do, we can do some lunges. Whatever little bit you can do, it adds up. It all adds up. What do I want? What do I don't want? Let it go. Okay, so Dexter chewed my ball. <laughs> I was owning my balls for five minutes and he got a hold of what I want. <laughs> I want that I want to let go of Dexter chewing my balls. He's chewed up about 50 balls of mine, so I have to hide them, you know. Um, so he is in bed right now. Dexter sometimes does not get up. So we are going to make paleo pancakes. And as you know, I like three or four elixirs rolling. So here's my heart tea I made earlier this week that you saw. And um and water, if coming into the moon, um, you know, we're about 70, 80% water. So why water is so important? Have you noticed you've been feeling dehydrated and depleted maybe? If you have, you've got to drink water. Um, I put a little bit of Himalayan salt. I'll add a little more as an electrolyte. Going into this moon, you know, we're going to feel plump. You know, the, the energy, we're gonna feel full. You're gonna to start to feel, and I want you to notice, all your food will start to expand because it's coming to fruit. You know, it's the 25th is the full moon. Drink your water if you can, like chug the water. Get, get, I get 32 ounces down in the morning. Not always, but I try to. And someone asked me yesterday, what kind of supplements do you take? Very simple. I alternate vitamin D, emulsified vitamin D, liquid, put it under the tongue in the morning. And right now I'm just doing cell salts. So my water, you know, you gotta watch the water. If you start feeling bad, especially with the moon, it is the water intake. Okay, so what we're gonna do um, we are going to make paleo pancakes. So we've got our coconut flour. We have a half a cup of coconut flour. We have, now I'm gonna put it in this bowl because I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. Um, we, we have, um, actually it was a half a cup of almond flour. Here's our a quarter cup of coconut flour. And here is tapioca flour. I don't know if you've used tapioca flour, but these, um, if you go paleo or just try paleo, want to break from gluten, um, want to break from flour, baking soda is in here too. These are ingredients that you're gonna need, almond flour, coconut flour. That's the basis of everything. Now we're gonna put some salt in um, and a lit. Now we're gonna mix this up. These are all the dry ingredients and um, mix that and we'll set this aside. Then we are going to add all the wet ingredients. So we have a half a cup 
of almond milk. I use an organic almond milk. You know, um, it's very easy to make almond milk and actually it tastes so much better. Um, I use vanilla extract and then I add a little bit of maple syrup. And then we're gonna add four eggs, four eggs to this. So um, this is a very simple, quick breakfast. Nice sometimes, you know, you see me in here cooking for a long time. Yesterday, I made all that food and I, I don't know what happened. My family, like they cooked and made amazing stuff. I've never even seen the kind of stuff they were cooking. So, um, Dwight is a great chef, actually. He's very creative in the kitchen. So um, we have four eggs, and I'm just gonna whisk that together. Mateo, on the other hand, is, you know, um, kind of like sandwiches, which is fine. Um, so, Welcome to Thursday. Is today Thursday? Today is Thursday. So, you know, we're whisking. Maybe we're doing some lunges, a few squats. I was doing that um, kind of cleanse, so I wasn't really working out, maybe walking. But there are many ways, you know, you can work out. And, um, you know, walking is amazing. Just doing something simple. You know, before I used to really work out um, but a lot of times the older you get that intensity actually spikes your cortisol level and it creates more stress on the body and we are about being very kind and that to the body listening to the body seeing what the body wants and nurturing the body so um, here's the dry ingredients and we're just gonna set this and give care and love to it so that we can eat it and feel cared for. Um, and we're gonna add this liquid ingredients and um, we'll just get a spoon, a bigger spoon. Let's see here. Okay. Now I know my son will probably not eat pancakes, but I'm going to and my husband will. And my friend Ingrid, those, you know those banana pancakes? Ever since I had them that day, I've been making them every day for lunch. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this paleo pancake, first time I've made it, all this food, a lot of times, first time I've made, just doing it, you know? Um, I like my pancakes a little thin, more on the creaky side. So, creepy, creepy. <laughs> I have to say, the uh, things that were not, um, not great feedback on this week was the sweet potato fritters uh, for my family. Not, I thought I could actually kind of slip those sweet potatoes in. No, no one was having them. So I called my friend Ingrid. It's always good to have a friend around. I, I ate them, I thought they were good. She loved them. Um, so, you know, it's just preference of what, um, what tastes good. And so, um, you know, with food, I always ask the food, you know, it's like I always, I always say kind of in my intention of this is the, uh, this is for my highest and best will. And then I feel the food and sometimes it'll say, not today. And, you know, because our body changes every day. And so, um, maybe a little thinner. So, coming into this harvest full moon, you know, the harvest full moon um, is when we get the grapes and, um, and wine. I, you know, I used to be able to be drinking wine, but I can't drink wine. I just am allergic to it now. And, um... But, you know, the harvest of wine, the spirits, you know, coming, coming in and through. So we have a lot to be grateful for, the pumpkins, the corn, all these beautiful things that are being harvested. So look in your life to see what is coming up to be harvested. I have my moon magic class. 
I hope you join me Friday night. It's a telecourse and um, I do it twice a month and it's awesome because you take advantage of creating with the moon. And on the full moon, now for some of you um, who want to lose weight, you can lose up to six pounds on the full moon if you fast, drinking water, drinking juices. Um, you don't have to fast, but, um, or, you know, if you want to detox, it is, the full moon is a great time to detox, to get rid of what you don't want, to release it, our balls, to let go, kind of that whole feminine of the emotional side and, um, just to release what we don't want. Three days before the full moon, I will take a, um, actually, a, it's called a parasite thing because parasites come out to mate in us or bugs do. And we get it from food. Every, you know, we have bugs in us. And so that's the time that they come out, they party down, you know, they're in our system. And hey, you know, they're, they gotta live in a space. We, you know, we got animals in our yard. We're living with everything. We just want, and we have the intention that uh, everything's in balance. So they can party down, some of them, if they're, if they're good, if they're of the highest and best will for us. So um, we are going to uh, make some of these pancakes. And I like thin pancakes. Um, so I'd love to see, you know, these are very plain, they're very basic, but I would love to see and hear about what kind of pancakes you guys like. You know, I gotta fix the slope. I gotta just uh, mount the, um, I gotta lift my stove up so it isn't so um, crooked. So just like the moon, it pulls the tides. You're gonna, I want you to be very aware. If we can eat kind of in um, the phases of the moon, or if you could keep even a journal about how you're feeling. You know, um, going into this full moon, you may start to feel crazy. You may start to feel emotional. It's not you, it's not you, full moon. So um, that then gives us some relief. We think we're, it's always us. We think that, you know, let's do some squats. We think um, that, you know, our lives, you know, we're the only ones that are alone, but it's not, you know, things are coming up to release and let go. But, you know, also on the full moon, we're going to reap something. So see the fruit, really see the food and see how full and beautiful it is. Give thanks to it of, you know, giving up its energy for us so that we can use this energy and ask the food even, hey, how do you want to, how do you want me to use this fuel? Maybe the food and its energy or the animals wanted to do something, who knows? But just asking it and being in relationship with it that way can move you forward. It'll, you'll do something new. You'll see in a different way. And next week, I forgot to tell you, I am going to Sicily um, with a client. So I am going to be in Sicily for um, 10 days. And I have never been to Sicily. I've been to Sardinia, shout out to Sardinia and Milan um, and, and many other places. I used to live in Italy, but um, turn this down a little bit so I will be in Sicily and um, I hopefully will be able to meet meet people that are cooking and and also I will be uh, videotaping live there and um, I'm working lots of energy and miracle energy it's very interesting because um, you know with uh, my client was working that that fire that red and literally the next day, Mount Etna blew up. <laughs> the lava woo, went out. So it's like, um, so funny. You know, I said, okay, I better bring some more blue back into the situation. 
Not that I'm saying I affected it, but um, everything is connected. Um, let me get a plate. And um, uh, these pancakes look great. There we go. So here are four pancakes. Now um, let me just do a few more. And um, let me just wipe this off. You know, this pan is so old, I really do need some new pans. Look how old this pan is. It's, it really needs to retire. So I want to let go of this pan, you know, and thank this pan for all of its service, for all of its meals, you know, um, but it's time to let it go and for feeding us. Okay, and then I'm just going to make the, the last batch here of Paleo Pancakes. If you just joined in, this morning we are making um, Paleo Pancakes and we made maca. Maca, um, it's a drink with some chocolate and cinnamon and a cinnamon stick in there and vanilla extract. And maca is a natural way, if you're uh, coming off your fast, drink lots of water today, but it's a natural uplifting thing because um, caffeine, it blows our adrenals out. It's really hard on our adrenals. Even though I do love the um, taste of coffee, but I um, have moved away from coffee and more into those teas, smoother, smoother, much smoother on the body. Mm, this is, this is like, in this, there's cacao, but there's no sugar. You want fats in the morning. After you eat some fats, then what you could do is have, you know, look at this. We have almond flour, coconut flour, tapioca flour, and these are awesome because they're not gluten. You're, they're not going to make you feel all bloated. So um, try them and let me know how they taste. You would be amazed ab about how these pancakes taste. And um, there we go. This one needs a little more. Um, what time is it? 7.29. So, okay, we got... Our elixir, drink tons of water, move it into that moon. Next week, I am going to, I think I'm going Thursday to Sicily. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do a show, but um, I'm gonna be gone 10 days. Join me Friday for moon magic in the evening and um, keep drinking that water, keep detoxing, keep releasing, and start to notice what's expanding, what's coming to harvest. And so what you sow is what you reap. And let's sow new seeds so we reap new things. And let's open our heart and have that good fortune. So thank you so much for joining. Own your balls today, even though mine got chewed, but I'm still going to own it. And own your lady balls. Thanks for joining and see you tomorrow.